News out of Colorado, where a judge ruled against an attempt to keep Donald Trump off the ballot in 2024. This is not the first time the judge has ruled this way, but in this ruling, the judge found, quote, that the court finds that petitioners have established that Trump engaged in an insurrection on January 6, 2021, through incitement, and that the First Amendment does not protect Trump's speech. We're all trying to make sense of this, but joining me now is someone who can help us do that, Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. Well, Secretary Griswold, thank you so much for joining us. I've been trying to, I've been reading all the clips and I've been trying to make sense of what this all means. So let me start by just asking you what your reaction is to the ruling and what this means in Colorado. Well, I think first off, having the court say that the former president engaged in insurrection is big news for the entire country. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is a danger to American democracy, and, and that's something that's really novel about that this case, that the judge decided that. Uh, but ultimately, she has ordered me to put him on the ballot, uh, and I will, of course, follow whatever court order is in place by the time I certify the ballot. The judge found and this is what's so interesting because it does it is significant. I'm not a lawyer, but that the judge did say he was involved in the insurrection, as you just said. The judge also found that Trump as president was not an officer of the United States. Did, did that surprise you? Honestly, yes. The idea that if you're a soldier or a Congress person, a U.S. senator, that if you engage in insurrection, you can't be qualified to sit in office again. But the U.S. president can engage in insurrection and then be president, president again, uh, I think is a, a, a potentially dangerous precedent. Uh, the presidency is the most powerful office in this nation. And that I, the idea that the U.S. Constitution does not protect uh, against uh, a rogue insurrectionist president, uh, I think, is um, a, a big concept. And, and honestly, there's scholars on both sides of this issue. Uh, I, I think the court made a, a very thoughtful decision. Uh, and, you know, it's a judicial process. There are days to appeal. The petitioners could appeal, but Donald Trump could appeal also. He may not like being called an insurrectionist by this court and very well could file an appeal. Oh, well, that would be an interesting development, too. As you said, it sounds like reporting suggests the plaintiffs could appeal. We'll see what they do. There's reporting that this then, of course, would go potentially to the Supreme Court. The timeline of that we can't predict entirely here, you and I, but explain to us a little bit some of the deadlines in Colorado. I mean, what timeline would that need to proceed through to have an impact if they change the ruling? Well, petitioners or any party have three days to file an appeal. That appeal would go to the Colorado Supreme Court, and I, I believe the Colorado Supreme Court would act quickly. The certification for the presidential primary in the state of Colorado is January 5th. Uh, the district court who just decided the case we're talking about, that's the first court that this case has been in in the state of Colorado, really understood the urgency of just the, the election calendar and, and really pushed the trial quickly. Um, so there's plenty of time, but regardless if Trump is on the ballot or not, American voters have all the opportunity to save American democracy. They did it in 2018, 2020, 2022. And I, I do believe, whatever the outcome of this case is, that our democracy will be safe because Americans are good people and, and they know that we need to have a, a country where the rule of law is followed, where the U.S. Constitution is upheld, and that of the American people are respected. And democracy has very much mattered, to your point, in the last several elections. Colorado Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold, I know you're going to very much be on the front lines of this. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this evening.